It's cold, and I'm getting out of Minnesota, heading south to go hog hunting in Texas. Currently, 17 below is the temp, plus wind chill, making it painfully cold. Schools are canceled, I'm out of here. Meeting up with my buddy Corey from Death Row Calls, some of his friends were heading to North Texas to hunt hogs. I'm so looking forward to this. I've never done it, believe it or not. Supposedly, the hog population is plentiful. So we're gonna have plenty of opportunities. Let's go. So we finally made it to Texas, like what, 1.30, 2 o'clock this morning? And uh, then we're just gonna go to sleep. But Corey had different plans. He said we should go hunt some hogs, right? We're here to hunt hogs. Yeah. Season's <laughs> open 24 Why would we sleep after driving from Minnesota to Texas when there's hogs to be hunted? So we hopped in the truck, went out, found some hogs, got in just a little bit of action. A four-wheel drive sneak, we call that. That's a four-wheel drive sneak? Mm -hmm. Yep. I gotta admit, I was a little scared for my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was driving? Well, yes. And there were my. I wasn't. You were shooting. High speeds, guns blazing. Well, yeah. Uh, that was awesome. It's legal. I'm so glad I didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ready for it now. All right. A little Texas heart shot in that one. Sausage. Sausage. Ring bologna. Boar bacon. Pork burgers. I hope you brought a sharp knife. So what you can't do from this video is smell. <laughs> Let me tell you, there is some stank to some of these pigs. But they taste pretty good, you say? They're good. We gonna, are we gonna eat some on this trip? Yeah, we're gonna grill them up tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's fresh. Yeah, real fresh. Well, that was enough fun for one night. I think I'm gonna get some rest. We got a couple more days of fun. I feel like there'll be probably a few more pig shot into the humble abode. Home for the next couple days. Well, after a fun night of hunting, short night sleep, or short, short day sleep, more like it, I like some breakfast. And I like bacon for breakfast. And we got some bacon going on here. Master Butcher, Corey and Jordan, hard at it. Gotta get, that, gotta get that bacon. Slicing and dicing. Find them, grind them, slice them, and dice them. Find them and grind them by night, slice them and dice them by morning. You got it. There we go. Like that. Are we going to actually cook up some pork while we're here, Corey? Absolutely. Back straps on the pellet grill. Maybe a uh, pulled pork. That'd be mm -hmm. your Boston butt, which comes from the front shoulder. If you didn't know that. Get my, get my good side here, though. Just gotta fix my hair. <laughs> Thanks, shot. Boom. Two points. So last night was a little bit of a run and gun operation, driving around looking for hogs with thermals, and then chasing them down and shooting them. A ton of fun. Wish I had the cameras running. We didn't get into Texas till 2 a.m. and I didn't have my stuff organized, so no cameras running. We'll try to get some on this trip, hopefully, so you can see it really awesome tonight though we're throwing out some corn making some bait tonight we're, tonight we're going to the jungle and it's a magical place right down on the river in a little duck hole a little shallow slough down there them pigs love that wet crap they love rooting around just getting all mimbly bimbly and wet and muddy <laughs> there we're, we're gonna get them <laughs> there, there you go enough said i feel like tonight just might be Awesome? Awesome because it's 60 below zero at home and 60 degrees here. Honey, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Sorry you have to be home. You're the best, Kels. Yes. Come here, Steve. <laughs> Come here, Steve. Wow. <laughs> what, what's going on? Steve, do you know what that is right there? Up there? Yeah, that. No. That's mistletoe. No, no. <laughs> Come on. But when you are under <laughs> mistletoe, no? Okay. Got it. So for those of you that don't know, this is Corey from Death Row Calls, the owner, operator, mastermind. Yeah. Any other titles you go by? Uh, goose Wizard. Goose Wizard. Yeah. So he makes goose calls and duck calls. Right. Pig calls? 
Yep. <laughs> so come to stores near you. What we got going on here? Hams. We're gonna shoot pigs. Top. We're gonna eat pigs. Bottom sirloin. Back strap. In here. The sauce. Because I'm the sauce boss. We got it going on. We're gonna eat good. If you're looking, it ain't cooking. So shut the grill. Small, miss small. Look at the coming off. I'd like to get my picture made. So we spotted a pig from the road. We snuck out to the field and I uh, got the opportunity to take a pig with a thermal, which was a pretty awesome experience. Nice big boar. Special thanks to these guys for letting me pull the trigger. That's what did it right there. Those peanuts. Look at them peanuts. That's like pig crack cocaine right there. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so to celebrate, I'm gonna pick some peanuts right out of the field. Mm, fresh. That's good stuff right here. So the first night we were here, we got into this group of pigs. It was absolutely awesome like one of the coolest experiences I've ever had hunting no cameras running because we're gonna get into more right we're gonna have the same experience we're gonna have all these GoPros run all these cameras it's gonna be awesome we'll show you guys well night number two we get into three pigs we thermal the few shot a few with shotguns you saw that got those recorded and then last night was the night we were gonna get into them thick it was gonna be incredible what happened you didn't get us on any pigs last night fog what the fog? What the fog? That is ridiculous. So much fog. We went out last night. It was just <laughs> thick fog. Not real conducive to spotting pigs. And two, once you do, not conducive to shooting them. No. So We had to quit hunting at midnight. We had to, yeah, I was sleeping by like 1.30. That's unreal. Maybe two. That's, in retrospect, like noon. Like pretty noon. much. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting going. The way we've been hunting. We've been hunting all throughout the night, getting back, sleeping halfway through the day. It's been a lot of fun here down in Texas, but now it's time for another adventure. I'm going fishing. We're heading to Lake, Lake, what's Texoma. it called? Texoma. Texoma. Yeah, you bet. Where they grow huge. Blue cats. Blue cat fish. Jug fishing? Jug fishing. Big white jugs. Big. So we're going to head up to Lake Texoma, try to catch some cats. Join along, big cats. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to um, a shower. <laughs> a shower and a shave that might be good we've been living it up here at the camp for the last three days the one thing we don't have showers we don't have any showers around here but we've got a really smoky fire and that smoke kind of masks oh it sure does the yeah odors so. i don't so we made it to lake texoma about to put the boat in we're gonna go put some jugs out then tomorrow we'll go check them and with a little luck there'll be some huge monster catfish You call it jug fishing? This is called jug fishing, and this is uh, this lake used to hold the world record. Which was? Do you remember how big that was? 120, a little over 120 pounds. 120 pound catfish yeah, was caught this, in this lake. This is where they live, right here. Yeah. These uh, blue cats, or you can talk to these Minnesota boys. They're they're as good or better than walleye. Eat. Ooh. They're unbelievably good eating. You hear that up north, folk? Oh, as good say or they're better. better? They're right there with them, boys. <laughs> Just as good as walleye, Walleye. we'll see. Alright, so we just put out 50 jugs, two hooks per jug, that's 100 hooks. We're gonna go back, get some steak, relax, take it easy, get a hot shower. I might shave this incredibly ridiculous, creepy mustache off. We're gonna come back tomorrow and check out the jugs. 
it's time to go check those jugs, see what we got. Got a good night's sleep in an actual bed. Hot shower, Gartner's face cleaned up. It's gonna be a good day, fellas, I feel it. Beautiful morning, nice calm water. Hopefully some big catfish. Let's go see. First jug of the day, got one on. First cat. We call those corn cobs. You just skin them and eat them like corn on the cob. <laughs> They are really good. Too. Not a giant, but as Mark calls them, a corn cob. Not the monster, but best eaten. That's what we're going for. We're going to have a little fish fry after this, so this this is a good start right here. Number two in the boat. We pulled our first 11 jugs. Did pretty good. We got four fish in the live well. 40 more to go. Well, we checked all 50 jugs. And uh, no monsters. No monsters. No monsters, but we got a lot of good eaters here. That's it. Time for a fish got, fry. Got... Make your tongue slap your brains out. Get it fresher, but you gotta hurry. Look at that. It's hot. It's hot. And it's good. <laughs> What's in the breading? Uh, it's cornmeal, salt, and pepper. And that's it. Mm. They got all kind of So stuff. good. They taste a lot better than they look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Have you ever eaten catfish? What do you think about it? Do you like it? What do you dip it in? Comment below and let me know. After 15 hours of driving, I'm finally back in Minnesota, almost home, and I'm so excited. For a couple reasons. One, it's no longer 30 below here. I missed it. It's actually 24 degrees. Heat, heat wave, right? Number two, I'm so excited to get back to my wife and kids and just spend a little bit more time at home. Been running in the last three weeks, it's been crazy. But I had a blast down in Texas hunting hogs and then on Lake Texoma jug fishing for blue catfish. Both of those adventures were totally amazing, brand new for me. The hunting the hog, I wish I was a little bit more prepared for the video. I didn't know what all that was gonna entail. I just sort of showed up with some guns and ammo and was along for the ride. So next time down, I definitely will get some better footage and uh, be more prepared to film and hunt the hogs. But that was a really, really cool experience down near Vernon, Texas with a guide. I will put the link in the description below if you're interested in hunting hogs. I recommend contacting uh, this gentleman. He's got just an awesome setup and um, got us on a lot of pigs, which is what we were there for. And then with the jug fishing, that was really cool. Didn't catch any monsters. I hope next time down, we can catch one of those 40, 50, 60, 70 pound catfish that Lake Texoma has. But we had a lot of good eaters. It was a great fish fry, had a great meal. And it was just a cool experience. Got to hang out and meet some new friends and uh, build some new relationships. So that's always a fun part of going somewhere new and hunting with new people. Um, but totally amazing adventure. Thanks for joining along with me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember, it's impossible to hit the shots that you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams. See ya.